Hello, my friends. My name is Michael James Meddy. I'm a Catholic musician and a speaker, and I'm here with my daughter. I'm Trinity Meddy. And we are in a Catholic family band together. We call ourselves MJM7, and uh, we're actually home. We're not touring this week, uh, and we're working on some recording projects here. You just want to show off. You like that song, don't you? <laughs> so it's still a work in progress, but uh, <laughs> we're excited to be home for the rest of the month. And this is our ongoing series called Why Does It Matter? Why does it matter that we go to Mass every week? And it matters a ton because God wants to speak to us through the readings. And so um, we just read through the readings, Trinity and I. And Trinity, what stuck out uh, to you with, with the readings this week? How did God speak to you? So the first and second readings were talking a lot about the end of time when Jesus would be coming in clouds and he would be the king of everyone. And then at the gospel, when it was talking about how Pilate was asking Jesus, are you the king of the Jews? I realized that all of the readings and the responsorial psalm and the gospel, they were all talking about how Jesus would be the king of all and how he would be the king for all time. That's right. And, and this is the Sunday is the feast of? Uh, Christ the king. That's right. You got it right. <laughs> it's the end of the liturgical <laughs> year. Uh, and so we celebrate at the end that Christ is the king. At the end of time, Christ will be the king over all. And I love, um, I love the interchange between uh, Jesus and Pilate. Where a pilot says, "So, are, so are, is it true? Are you the king of the Jews?" And uh, and does Jesus say yes? No. Does he say no? Nope. No. He kind of skirts around the question and says, "Well, what do you say that I am?" And um, and it's really interesting because like there's there's like this irony and this comedy in that that the Jews didn't recognize that Jesus is the king that he literally is the king of the Jews. He's the king of the whole universe. That's what we celebrate this Sunday. Um, and so they murder him for being who he really is, the king of the Jews. You know, God has... He, God is a perfect comedian. He has an interesting kind of dark sense of humor here. <laughs> and um, I just, I love that, but that they were expecting this kind of huge general, this like powerful leader, th somebody that was going to slay, you know, the Goliaths, somebody who was going to overthrow Rome, somebody like a, a Curtis LeMay or like Napoleon a... Napoleon Bonaparte. Yeah, or somebody that was like this big kind of, you know, Joseph Stalin military leader or something. And uh, that's not who they got. <laughs> they didn't get somebody who uh, is this military leader. They got somebody who was a servant, who showed them what humility was, to give all of himself, to humble himself and empty himself. And I think that's the lesson that I took away from the readings, that, that um, to be a leader, that we need to be more of service to our brothers and sisters, that we need to empty ourselves and uh, not seek the places of honor, not seek the accolades, not seek the attaboys, but uh, to live uh, in humble service of our brothers and sisters. So God wants to speak to you this week, so make sure you go to Mass and go with God.